So this piece is convex on both sides, somewhat thick, and uh, has a strong edge for using heavy blows to strike thinning flakes out across here. So with this oval fat shape that I call a biscuit, we can uh, see how that goes for thinning. Usually I chip these out to about 3 to 1 or 4 to 1 on the width to thickness ratio and then um, and then go from there. So this is a biscuit. We're going to see how these things flake. We just flake these things out 3 to 1 or 4 to 1 and uh, Make sure it's convex on both sides and the and the edge is somewhat in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but um, just chip those balls out into uh, nice oval thick pieces that convex on both sides. Those are biscuits. I got a nice biscuit right here. It's lenticular, convex on both sides. It's pretty wide, so I'm going to use a mega bopper on it. And I got the edge ground down real good and heavy. So we're going to really smack this thing. So usually it only takes about three big flakes to thin down. One from this area, one from this area, and then one in the middle. And then those three big flakes will come across more than halfway and really cause a lot of major thinning and then turn it over and do the other side and um, so just saw uh, three three big flakes on each face to get the main thinning and then trimming up from the other side let's see how it goes this is the mega bopper Jumping Jehoshaphat. Man, what a nice big flag. And take one over here. Oh, what a good flag. And one in the middle. We got this nice ridge now. That had a double uh, flake, a double split flake there. Let's go ahead and get that one right there. Eh, we'll have to clean up from the other side. A nice basal thinning flake there. Okay, instead of just jumping to this other side right quick, I'm going to go on to the other side and hit from over here before I clean up here. Man, see the size of that flake? That's what nice lenticular cross sections can do for you. It lets you take big long flakes. I'm even getting overshot flakes and edge to edge flaking. It's all pretty easy when the shape is right. Nice big flag. This big old flag. Beautiful big flag there. Nice big flags. Now we can trim up the edge and do the touch up the opposite side that we flaked on. Okay. 
from this side. Make sure this edge is rounded. Okay. Got to hit in the right place. Nice big place. to get rid of this thickness here. Let's round the edge. Okay, I'm just going to stop right here. I just wanted to show you how efficient it is to thin down the preforms when they're shaped like a fat biscuit, a lenticular piece of glen or whatever, and get a nice thick edge to hit on, rounded, get you an oval shaped blade and big old bopper and hit on that rounded edge and flake all the way across the stone. You start out with three, three to one ratio or four to one, and then by the time you're done, you wind up with seven, seven to one or eight to one on your width to thickness ratios. Very efficient thinning. This is a quick way to get thin in a regular fashion. These flakes are, are straight across, mostly parallel to each other. Makes a nice flaking pattern on the stone. And from here, you just set up some nice isolated platforms in those final little areas that need a little bit of thinning, and you'll have a wonderful wide, thin blade. Thank you for watching.